back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine Denise and I am back for another video for you all today. We are creating another shirt. We're going to have some fun creating this. We're going to be using two different types of vinyl and it's going to come out fabulous. It's going to come out great and I'm very excited and I can't wait for you all to see. Okay, so the first vinyl that we're going to be using is the Caesar Easy Puff vinyl. So I know you've seen this vinyl, it looks very good, it has that nice puff texture to it. So if you're ever curious on how to use this vinyl, how to press it, what temperature you press this on, look no further, we're going to work on this together and you'll see exactly how I press this. The second vinyl that we're going to be using is the Caesar Easy Wheat HTV. So we are going to be using both of these vinyls in today's video. I'm super excited. You're also going to need a Gildan cotton t-shirt. I'm super excited. So let's go right on to design space that we can create our design and get everything going so you can see exactly how it looks. But if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support as always. Okay, so now I'm here at my computer and I have opened up design space. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and find the design that we want to put on our shirt for today and go ahead and get our settings prepped so we can go ahead and get everything cut out. So we have on our design space, I'm going to open up my design and we're not using any type of printer so we don't have to print and cut this image. We're simply just going to go ahead and cut this image with our Cricut Maker 3. So we're going to select cut image. And then from there, we also want to upload our design. From there, we're gonna go ahead and select it, add to canvas, and then our design is gonna populate for us. Okay, so we've added our design to Canva, and as you see here, we are going to be making our t-shirt, and it says, Hustle University. Okay, so with this design here, what we're going to do is for the hustle, we're going to be using our Caesar Easy Puff Vinyl. And I feel like that's gonna give it a nice pop to it. For the university, we're gonna use the Caesar Easy Weed HTV for that part. And between those two combined together, it is gonna be one fire design. So what we'll do here is right now, our design is completely grouped together. And because I wanna make two different cuts using two different types of vinyl. We're gonna to have to ungroup this. That way we can cut our design in the way that we need to. Okay. So what you're gonna do is select your design and we're going to ungroup it. That way we can cut two separate ways when we're using your vinyl. All right, so we're going to detach and then the section here, we're going to ungroup. So now, once we ungroup it, we're going to highlight the University 1991 section. And now we want to group this section together. Now when we group this section together, that's gonna allow us to use our Caesar Easy Wheat HTV on our cutting mat. And then the Easy Puff will be for our hustle. And then now we're going to group the hustle back together. That way it prints out all together. It's not gonna print out in letters just all over the place. It's gonna group everything together. So we're going to group it, attach. Let me make sure I attach that one. Okay, I did. So now it is ready to be cut. So now you wanna select your design. And for your operation, you do wanna make sure basic cut is selected. We're not printing, so there's no need for any other options here. We're going to make sure basic cut is selected. And the same thing for the university, 1991, we're gonna make sure basic cut is selected because we're not printing anything. All right, so now we can go ahead and select make it. All right, so now it's asking us, how would you like to load all of your materials for this project? We're gonna select on our mat, we're using our 12 by 12 cutting mat size. Always remember, because it's separated, it's perfectly fine, don't worry. We're using two different types of vinyl. We're using our Easy Pub vinyl, and we're also using our Easy Wit HTV. 
so we need them to separate it that way it will cut separately always make sure that you mirror your design and that's exactly what we're doing now so our first design is mirrored our second design is mirrored and now we can continue now what I need to do now is go ahead and connect to my Credit Explorer 3. That way we can go ahead and cut out our design and get this thing going. Okay, so now it's time to apply our vinyl over to our Cricut cutting mat. So first we're gonna take our Cricut Easy Weed HTV So for your Caesar Easy Weight HTV, you have your shiny side and then you have your matte side. So when you're using your Caesar Easy Weight HTV, you want to cut with the shiny side down. So please listen to these instructions because the instructions for the Easy Weed and for the Easy Puff are going to be completely different. So first, what you want to do is cut your Easy Weight vinyl. Okay, so the top one is our Caesar Easy Wheat HTV. And now we're going to place our Caesar Easy Puff vinyl. So remember, Easy Wheat HTV, you put the glossy side down, the Easy Puff, you have your shiny side, and you have your matte side. Now for Easy Puff, the shiny side will go face up. So we're going to place our e Okay, so we have our vinyl on our mat. We want to discuss some key reminders, especially when you're using two different types of vinyls. So the top vinyl here is our Caesar HTV. And always remember you want to place this vinyl, your Caesar HTV vinyl, with the glossy side down. So always make sure the glossy side is down for this one. For your Easy Puff, Caesar Easy Puff vinyl, which is here, you want to put your shiny side up. Very important, make sure you write both of those two down because it's very important for you to do that. Alright, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and preheat our heat press. Now, since we're doing puffing HTV, we're going to um, press our HTV vinyl first. We're going to go ahead and preheat our Caesar HTV to 305 degrees. We're going to press that one first. That one will be a hot pill. And then once that one's done, then we'll go ahead and do our easy press puff. And then we'll see our final designs. All right, so now we have our design cut out here, and now we're just going to go ahead and weed out our design, and then we can press it on our shirt, and we'll be all done.
Okay, so I've just finished weeding out my design and this is what it looks like. You can see the two different types. So up here is my Caesar HTV and then down here we have the Easy Puff Vinyl. We're going to press our HTV vinyl first because you can double press that one. Your Easy Puff Vinyl tongue twister. So your Easy Puff Vinyl, you don't want to press that one multiple times because that's when you're Puff is going to get more crinkled, more wrinkly, and it's just going to ruin your design and you're going to be upset and you're not going to want that to happen. So first what we're going to do is go ahead and press our HTV vinyl on our shirt. So we're going to press that one first for about 10 seconds at 305 degrees and that will be a hot peel. And then from there we'll go ahead and apply our puff vinyl and we'll see the final result. So let's get started. All right, so first you just want to line everything up to make sure that your design will be applied on correctly. So press our HTV vinyl first. And the only reason I'm putting it on here is because we're doing our placement. Now I usually like to go three fingers down from the collarbone because I don't want my design to be too high. All right, so I just eyeballed my design here. I like exactly how it's looking. All right, so you can put your design under your heat press. Now, don't forget to take out your HTV puff because you do not want this to press first. We want to press our HTV vinyl first. So I'm going to set this one aside. Now, I'm gonna take my Teflon sheet and always remember for your HTV, it's 305, 305 degrees. <laughs> so remember to always take that out. So now I have my HTV design here. I've got my Teflon sheet. We're gonna press this for 305 degrees for 15 seconds. And this will be a hot peel. So let me increase my time to 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and put this one in our heat press. So let's start. Okay. So let's remove our Teflon sheet. Remember our Caesar HTV vinyl is a hot peel. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that one. Okay, look at this. All right. All right, this is looking so good. Very good. Okay, so now we need to increase our temperature because for our puff vinyl here that we need to press, that we need to press it for 320 degrees for 10 seconds. So we're gonna increase it to 320 degrees. And for our timer, we are going to remove it down and decrease down to 10 seconds. So we're just gonna wait a minute until our heat press gets up to our correct temperature that we need. And then we're gonna go ahead and press our HTV puff. I'm super excited on how this is gonna come out. Woo! So now our heat press is at 320 degrees and we're gonna press our easy puff for 10 seconds. Okay, and this will be a hot peel as well. So we're going to put our design on. You can just look at it. Make sure it's centered. One thing to note before we go ahead and press this, one thing to note is that your easy press is with a firm pressure. Now, because I'm using my HTV Ront, I cannot, you know, manually make this clamp down any harder. I cannot apply pressure any harder than what it decides to do for me. So what I do is I just have a extra um, heat press mat on here and then typically what I do is I just put it underneath my shirt and the reason I'm placing it underneath my shirt is because it's going to lift it higher up so it's going to be higher to this heat press so when that pressure applies down is going to be even more firmer than what it would have been if I didn't use this. Okay, so 
just make sure it's lined up on there so like right here I can feel the edges and my design is completely on it so we are good to go so I'm going to go ahead and put my Teflon sheet on here all right heat press and let's go ahead and press Ten seconds is completed. We are going to go ahead and remove this. Let me bring you all a little bit closer so you can see what. Oh my God! This is so beautiful, y'all. Look. Oh, look at my puff. Oh my God, this is so good. You guys, this shirt came out so good. Oh my God, I'm excited. Let me show you all exactly what this shirt looks like. I am in love. I cannot believe it. I absolutely love how this shirt came out. Ah, look at this. It's Hustle University. This is so pretty. <laughs> You guys, you already know what I'm gonna say. I love how it turned out. I love how this design looks. Look at this. It pressed beautifully. It didn't go too long. The HTV looks amazing. Oh my God, look at this. It's stretchable. It's not messing up. Ah! <laughs> um, but that is today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you all for watching. Bye.